This is question number eight. It says ABC is a triangle. Angle ABC is equal to angle BCA. The length of side AB is 3x minus 5 centimetres. The length of side AC is 19 minus x centimetres. The length of the side BC is 2x centimetres. We're asked to work out the perimeter of a triangle and we're asked to give our answer as a number of centimetres. The question carries five marks. Now we're told that angle ABC, and this is this one just here, is equal to angle BCA, which is this one just here. That means that we have an isosceles triangle. So what I'm going to do is just put these on. So that length is going to be the same as that one. We're not asked to state that it's an isosceles triangle, but we can now say that if these base angles are the same, we have an isosceles triangle. That therefore means that AB must be equal to AC. If it's an isosceles triangle, this is what we'll have. Therefore, we can write, and I'm using the symbol for therefore, 3x minus 5 must be equal to 19 minus x. I'm going to solve this equation. To do that, I'm going to add x to both sides. So 4x minus 5 will be equal to 19. I'm now going to add 5 to both sides of the equation, so 4x will be equal to 24. I'm now going to divide both sides of the equation by 4. We'll have 24 over 4, and that gives me that x is equal to 6. So all I'm going to do is substitute this back in and work out the perimeter. The perimeter is simply AC plus CB plus AB. So let's go ahead and do that. This length right here, we have 19 minus 6, which is going to give me 13. And remember, we're working in centimetres. We're going to have two lots of 6, which is going to give me 12. And then we're going to have now three lots of 6 minus 5. That's 18 minus 5, which we know to be 13. So we can see now, just checking our algebra, that this works. So we're going to have 13 plus 13 plus 12, and that's going to give me now 38 centimetres. So that's my final answer. I've solved the equation. I've simply put the numbers back in, and we have 38 centimetres.